This come involving the inflation of refugee numbers by government officials was high on the agenda during the FDC weekly press conference on Monday morning. The party spokesperson Ibrahim Semujunganda says he is set to table a motion calling on parliament to investigate the scandal. So the intention of raising this matter in parliament is to hold them to account because well, that's the responsibility of parliament. Hold them to account, account for the number of people who are in Uganda, those that are coming in, the amount of money at their disposal, but also to allow parliament to investigate whether people they vetted and, and vetted and allowed to go and occupy those positions are still in a position to serve. According to Semujunganda, the alleged mismanagement of refugee funds is a result of many perceiving refugees as commodities. Because if it was for humanitarian ground, I don't think people would be motivated to attempt to make a profit out of people's misery. People have run away from problems. And you, you sit down to negotiate and discuss how to steal money um, using these uh, vulnerable souls. FDC says supervision of funds has been hampered by the advanced age of officials in the office of the Prime Minister. We have the other deputies who are almost now disabled, almost. So now this chaos unfolding in that sector was just a foregone conclusion right from the start. I don't think Moses Ali has capacity to go and visit three refugee camps in a day and then he will wake up the following day. Meanwhile, all is set for the nomination of FDC candidate Paul Mwiru in the forthcoming Ginger East by elections, which are scheduled for Tuesday. So we'll be meeting at Masese, that's where we will depart from to go for nomination. And then we have a nomination area at a place called Daneda. So we think by lunch time we will be done with nomination and then we will be speaking to um, people uh, of Jinja and, and Busoga and Uganda at, uh, at around lunch time. Ali Mivoli, NTV.